Hey everybody and welcome back. Uh, today I want to talk about this wet palette. This is the Masterson's Stay Wet Handy Palette uh, that I actually picked up more than a year ago and started using it, then stopped using it, and then recently started using it again. And I'll explain all that in a second. When I first started using a wet palette, I picked up the uh, P3 wet palette because it was handy. It was available at the store. And it was pretty much everything that you needed to get going. And it seemed like, you know, it was going to be just what I needed in order to uh, do the whole wet palette thing. Uh, but what I found over time was that it was kind of a pain in the butt. And the reason was that it seemed like it was constantly drying out, which is not the point of the wet palette. Uh, that the sponge wasn't really holding the water the way it should. And that it just wasn't big enough. Like I could fill up this with paint in no time at all. And then I'd have to take out the uh, paper, which is not in right now. But I'd have to take out the paper and then toss it and start a new one. And that, again, was sort of defeating the purpose of having the wet palette, which for me was uh, that ability to kind of keep the paint on the palette for a really long period of time. Uh, so I could keep coming back to it and not have to keep replenishing it. It's a really good way to save your paint. So I stopped using it and I kind of uh, got rid of it in favor of uh, adding extenders to my paint and just using a regular dry palette. Uh, and after a while I decided I might want to try a palette again and I looked around to see what was available and I came across the Masterson palette. Now this one is a lot bigger, obviously. Uh, this is eight and a half by seven by one inch deep, and which is about almost twice as big as the P3 palette. Now here's the interesting thing. Uh, the P3 palette retails for between 16 and $20, depending on where you get it you can get the Masterson palette for 10 bucks. Now, something to keep in mind about the Masterson palette is that it comes with, uh, it comes with everything you need, sort of. So that's the, that's the sponge. You've got your tray that has a nice tightly fitting lid, relatively tightly. Uh, and it comes with five sheet of, five sheets of special paper for it, whereas the P3, the P3 palette came with like a whole pad of parchment. And the, the paper that came with this was different. And that will kind of explain the experience that I had with it when I first got it. So the instructions for this said to take one of the sheets of paper, and it's kind of a thick, coarse paper, and you were supposed to boil it in water and do these other preparation steps for it before you used it. And I did all that and I started using it and I found that uh, it was leaching moisture into the paints so quickly that it, it didn't seem worthwhile at all, which is how I ended up just putting it away for so long. And uh, then I, I heard somebody else tell me you know, say the same thing about it, that they just sort of threw that paper away and switched to parchment. <laughs> Just regular parchment paper that you can get for baking at the market. And this is what I've been using ever since when I started using it recently. And it works fantastic. So uh, ever since I discovered that, I've been really using the, uh, the palette a lot more and it's pretty much replaced my dry palette. Uh, and so this turns out to be kind of the, the perfect palette for me now. Uh, my problem with my dry palettes was that not only did they have sort of a, a limited lifespan for the paint, uh, the palettes themselves would kind of get scratched up and the paint would, would adhere to them and it was really hard to clean them. So I, I, I definitely wanted to go to something where I could just put in paper, use it for as long as I needed it, and then pitch the paper and just add some more. So it's been great, uh, and I really recommend it. So what I've been doing in terms of setup is uh, I fill this with water 
to the point where it's just about shiny on the surface and then uh, lay the paper down. Uh, so when I'm going to do the add the paper, I, I cut a piece that's going to fit, usually one that fits a little bit better than this, but this is good for the sake of uh, demonstration. Now, uh, normally, if I see this, all these uh, air bubbles here, then I don't, then there's not really enough water. And so I'll add a little bit more. But your paper is generally going to curl the first time you've set it down anyway. And then I flip it over. And do the other side. And then that sort of evens out the curling. Uh, but then I, I'm going to want to get rid of these um, excess water droplets. And if I have a little leftover parchment from my cut, I'll just generally kind of squeegee it to the side. Definitely like to make sure that all that air is out of there. So clearly not enough, not enough water. But if you can see this area in here is a good example of what the whole thing should look like. Anyway, and then when you uh, when you want to use your paints, you just put a little there, and that will stay there almost indefinitely. Uh, and then when you want to be finished, you just close it up and you're good to go. Uh, and I've had no problem leaving this overnight. I don't usually leave it more than uh, overnight because even, even with the size of this, there will come a point where I have so much paint on here. Uh, that in order to make more space, I just need to start over. In fact, I'm thinking about getting a second one just so that I can uh, I could conceivably stack them up and just go back and forth, and I could say have one that has my metallics on it and one that has my uh, non-metallics, or I could have my dark colors and light colors or whatever I want to do. They also make a larger one, but uh, I feel like the larger one is just going to take, take up too much of a uh, footprint on my table. And again, that other paper that comes with this uh, is apparently great if you're using heavy body paint, like you might get in a tube, but for uh, the light body paints that we use, uh, it, it's just, it's no use at all. But that's it. The Masterson Stay Wet Handy Palette. Uh, I'll have a link to it on Amazon in the description if you wanna go check it out yourself. And that's gonna do it for now. And thanks for watching, and I will talk to you all later.